How does first-time home buyer finance purchase in Canada? It's no secret that Canadians are increasingly turning to their parents, affectionately known as the bank of mom and dad, for assistance with their down payments when buying a home. In fact, about a third of all home buyers in Canada have turned to their families when it comes time to make a down payment. While most of these people are first-time home buyers, it's estimated that close to 10% of people moving to another home have also sought assistance from the bank of mom and dad. With home prices continuing to rise, even for many Canadians who have the means to afford a mortgage, the lump sum required for a down payment is increasingly out of reach. Types of Loans Bank of Mom and Dad If you want to be able to access the bank of mom and dad with less risk, a loan is likely the better way to go. In order to have the funds considered a loan, you will need to have a loan document drawn up that clearly states that the money in question is a loan and not a gift, and should also include a repayment schedule and terms and conditions, such as consequences for missed payments. Without this loan document, in the event of a breakup or divorce, the funds will be considered a gift and divided up accordingly between you and your ex. Keep in mind that a loan could negatively affect your debt-to-income ratio if it's too large and or the repayment schedule is too aggressive, thus complicating your chances of getting approved for a mortgage. Second Mortgage Your parents may not have the cash to either gift or loan you. In this case, a popular option is to take out a second mortgage, typically in the form of a home equity line of credit, HELIC. Again, in this case, it's critical to have a loan document or promissory note drawn up to ensure that both parties are protected and that the loan is repaid. This also ensures that in the event that the property needs to be sold, your parents will get back at least some, if not all, of the money they loaned you. Co-signing Another avenue to consider may be to have your parents co-sign for your mortgage loan. This is a relatively simple way to potentially increase your purchasing power. However, if your parents have a poor credit history or have a lot of debts, it can actually hurt your ability to get approved for a mortgage. And, of course, if you fail to keep up with your mortgage payments or default altogether, your parents' credit score will also take a hit and they may even be saddled with paying off your mortgage. The bottom line. Ultimately, how you approach this really boils down to your individual circumstances and those of your parents. You'll want to be sure to consult with your broker or lender, and you may want to consider speaking with a financial advisor as well. While borrowing from the bank of mom and dad to help with your down payment might not be feasible or desirable for everyone, it might just be the right choice for you.